what a great yeah. crowd. It's packed crowd. Yeah. People standing up. This is awesome. Yeah. We are Bananas Republic from Mod 27 Improv, and we're here to do some Thank you, improv Mom. for you tonight. Uh, so I'd just like to ask you a couple of questions. Um, so you're driving through a state you don't know, and you, you, you need to stop, and you pull into a gas station, and you walk in, and there's something on the shelf, and you decide to grab it. What is it? Nutter Butters. Nutter Butters. Uh, I have a, a two-year-old daughter, and um, we try to be good parents by uh, <laughs> not giving her what she wants. So um, we spend a lot of time, you know, saying no and no and go away and don't touch that. Uh, <laughs> But she just keeps coming back at you because she's two, and so she's trying to figure out the world. And what she, so everything that you say is just like a big game. And so if you put the the good food out of reach, she's really clever and good at climbing things she's not supposed to and getting them, and then running really fast. And we have a very small house. Her house is about this big. <laughs> and, and I never get a break from her either because like I, I dream about having a larger house where I can just sort of stomp dramatically up the stairs and be like, you're dead to me, child! And then she <laughs> tears the kitchen apart and does whatever, and I you know, sip a martini in my luxurious master bedroom and let my husband do all the work. Which, don't get me wrong, my husband does all the work now, but it's just a 900 square feet. <laughs> Honey, I'm ovulating. <laughs> And according to the book I'm reading, it's time to do it. Uh, I have a really long day at the office. I need you in me! <laughs> this is a lot of stress on me, you know? Like, you! Stress on you? All of my friends have babies! Hey, honey, I'm gonna miss all just friends on the weekend. I mean, I just like, I... It might be it's too not, late. It's it might not, be too late. The ache has a mind of its own. <laughs> How do you even know that? I'm reading a lot of books, and I can feel the ache. Okay, explain. Yes, I'm in touch with my body. Why aren't you? Hey, I, touch with my body. I spend all day long with rich, older women. What? Are you intimidating them? No. Are you wasting all of your seed? No, I don't. No. no, I don't do that. I need every drop. I'm, I just am companions. You, I'm going to have to explain my job to you. You know what I do. I'm, I'm a gigolo for elderly women. <laughs> I, for Christ's sake. I'm worried because I'm already going through wild emotions and I'm not I'm really worried because I just learned about some sort of physiology that I was not aware of. An egg moving. <laughs> like, dance party. Is there a dance party in your You Volta? don't know that eggs move every month? At least for a you week? It was like doing somersaults in your, in your, in your hoo-ha. I didn't, I didn't paint a picture of an acrobatic egg. I didn't tell you that. You, I said I could feel it moving. Listen. You know what menstruation is? It's the clearing of all eggs. <laughs> I'm glad you answered that question. And it was a rhetorical question because I was not going to go there. No, you shouldn't go there. I was but not. now you should because it's true. <laughs> For the record, I, I did know what ovulation was. Great. But I was not going to answer your question. Because you are mean. <laughs> well, I'm pre-hormonal. <laughs> this isn't going to work. <laughs> your mother. I don't like it to be a mother of a teenage boy. I don't understand his needs. I don't understand what he's thinking. I don't understand what he's doing. Oh my god, he's killing people. Sweetheart. <laughs> Sweetheart. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I, made, I made you a snack. 
I made you, I made you a snack. I made you some cookies. I know, right? So much brains. <laughs> so many. <laughs> Look at all those brains! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm just, I'm just connecting with you. Wow! Ah! Damn it! Success, we killed him. <laughs> yeah, that's my mom. <laughs> Imagine that there's a sinkhole. <laughs> right? Because in my daydream, I live in Tampa, Florida, right? <laughs> the door opens up, and it's like I try to save them, and in my dream, I'm really heroic. Like I'm, you know, I'm spelunking, and I'm trying to get them, you know, and, and I'm crying, and the news is there, and, and, and I actually grab their little hands, but it's too late, and I snap. <laughs> 
<laughs> and the rest of my life in like trauma, but also like I go to the beach more and drink margaritas. So. <laughs> Sometimes, I picture you without a skirt on. <laughs> um, I have a lot of guilty pleasures. Nutter Butters happens to be one of them. Um, I'm a plant-based diet, and that's an accidentally plant-based food. It's not on purpose, but you can enjoy Nutter Butters as many as you want, and stay true to your moral beliefs. Um, <laughs> Most of my inappropriate fantasies, the only person I tell is my wife. So she knows, well, my dad sometimes too. That sounds really inappropriate, but I wasn't trying at this point. Um, sometimes my dad and I talk to the phone on, with each other, like quite often. Uh, uh, he'll do it on speakerphone. And sometimes my mom's within hearing, and sometimes she's not. And my dad always says the same thing no matter what, but the way he responds to how I, what, what I say, tells me whether or not my mother is in <laughs> hearing distance. <laughs> Oddly enough, the reverse is not true, because my dad will say something, and then like five seconds later he goes, wait, is Cat there? <laughs> I don't talk on speakerphone, I just... <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. You want to go first? I'm not the one who's confessing my son. <laughs> you, think your, you think your shit don't stink? Is that what you think? Yeah. Priest, yes. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel. Okay. Hey, uh, hey. What? I don't mean to be an asshole, but you're the one that walked in here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So it's been, you know, uh, five years since my last confession. Uh, I've had some. Uh, uh. <laughs> five. Are you sure. Seven. <laughs> Maybe seven. <laughs> what are you? What are you writing down? What are you saying? I'm putting a check mark next to the accuracy of your. You okay, I can see. File? I can see this is getting a little weird for you. No. I, I guess no. I'm. Sorry. Yes, it's weird. You have a file on me. No. Uh, no. <laughs> I do not. I do not have a file on you. Not a guy. You're a priest. I feel like I am. Fine. Yeah. Well, look, I, I'm here to help. Just uh, you know, I. This, this is just a journal. I, yeah, it's for my own purposes. I don't, I'm, I'm just messing with you, dude. Yeah, it's out of the bag now. Can't put it back. Did you get any good secrets? Oh this? my god. <laughs> that guy jerked off three times in one day. I have my journal. Mrs. Jones got a speeding ticket. Oh, mine was not as bad as that. <laughs> Also, she's been eating jello cups. Oh my god. <laughs> Listen, you're gonna have to speed these up. My arms are getting really tired. <laughs> sorry, Joan, I'm sorry. That was good, that was my weight for the day. How's the diet going? I don't squat. Dave mentioned I'm refeeding. Okay. It's a cheat week. <laughs> what month is it? I don't know. September? You sure. September? Sure. It's my refeeding month. <laughs> Are you gonna reset the system? Yeah, because my set weight has gotten out of proportion. So I need to trick my body into thinking that you're gonna eat her again? <laughs> right. So then the fat will start to eat itself. It's, it, it's complicated, but all I know is I have to eat. <laughs> you know my friend Bobby? You know Bobby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he got liposuction. Looks great. <laughs> Can eat whatever he wants. He just does it like every few weeks. Every few weeks he goes for lipo. Yeah. I can, there's a stigma. I can't do that. What do you mean there's a stigma? There's a stigma. 
No, not anymore. They have a way of doing it where they don't even show any scars or anything like that. <laughs> and they can suck so much out that Take your skin actually gets tight off. Who's sucking what? Bobby. Are Bobby. you turn up? Uh, were you close to the speaker? No, no. Linda's on with me. She's coaching me through. Oh, hey, Linda. What? <laughs> Linda. Oh, lost her. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I'm saying is there's a new procedure now where they actually go in through your back, and it kind of wraps around to the the jiggly parts and it sucks it out. It sucks what? The fat one. The fat one. <laughs> so I about lipo, but I'm telling you there's a stigma. What's the stigma? I don't because get it. Because if you go to a doctor, yeah. then you're a bad person. You're supposed to buy taco with your money. You went and bought lipo with the money. Well, <laughs> what I'm suggesting is it's a better use of your funds if all you're doing is dumping money in, in, <laughs> in, in, into... Something good. In, into the gold digger stuff. Yeah. inside a small tent at the South Florida Fairgrounds. There's <laughs> <laughs> innovation going on here. I know. God is where you see them. God is within each of us, always. And now he's, now he's touching me. Between the two of us. <laughs> Both of us have God. We're doubling God right now. <laughs> I know he's omnipresent. <laughs> so much crap on that guy. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, I had started a blog about all of this stuff. Uh, it's, it's, it's really good. Joe, can I get the link? <laughs> I don't know, can you? So growing up, uh, my family was Catholic, um, and I was made to be two. Um, <laughs> I, I got uh, confirmed in all that stuff, and one of my favorite stories from that whole thing was in our church, you know, we had a sponsor, you know, and everything like that. And at the end of the whole thing that I was sweating about, you know, um, I, the bishop came to our church and was walking up and down the aisle. We all had to sit on the end of the pew closest to the aisle. And I, I think I like faked my way through this whole process, right? I really didn't know much about anything, but I, I kept acting like I did and I got past and they were going to let me get confirmed, right? Uh, so the bishop is going up and he's asking all these people questions and I, I got very distracted and I wasn't paying attention and he comes over to me and he kind of puts his hand on my shoulder and he goes, well, what do you think? And I had no clue what he had asked. So I just kind of looked up at him and I went, Jesus? Like that, right? And the whole church just laughed and went, yeah, it's very good, very good. So I mean, I got confirmed. I don't know how you did. When in doubt, just say Jesus. Say Jesus. I got this. I'm uncomfortable. Good. That's important to me, your comfort. 
want to be sure you're comfortable, comfy in your shoes, comfy in your skin. Your shoes look good. You ladies have a slow day? I got some extra roasted corn later if you want to just come by and get some. Yeah. I mean, the, I don't know, the, the whole travel agent thing, you know, the whole like cruise bookings at the, at the fair, I don't know if that's, just come by and get some corn if you're hungry. <laughs> Fairground Frank has got to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Times are tough. Yeah. Man. I, know. I mean, who buys corn? Like, when's the last time you stopped in a market, like a vegetable market? You know, Sometimes I go because they have good soap. Hey, yeah. later on, yeah. later on, if you if you get bored here, Brussels sprouts. <laughs> the, the, the Brussels sprout fair, Brussels sprouts. <laughs> it's like they never caught on to the fact that we get all our food at. You know, public. Two men just walked by <laughs> selling vegetables. That doesn't happen much. <laughs> hey, ladies. I will literally fry anything over there. You show up with it, I'll fry it. You know what I mean? Like, I'll dip it in stuff and fry it for Is you. Is there a security measure that right? I missed okay. out on? <laughs> a badge that they're supposed to have. God bless them. God bless You're making them. a living. Just like, trying to get through the day. Yeah. Trying to put food on the table. Trying to not disappoint your significant others and kids. You know. Hey, ladies, uh, just gonna throw it out there. Uh, I've got a sex tent. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'd like you to tell me about this. Oh, do you approach, wonderful. Do you approach men as well, or is it? No, I <laughs> no. What do you do if a man has a need? Well, then I refer him to my my partner, who is a homosexual, and he takes care of that need. Thanks, Carl. 